guys welcome uh, to my youtube channel i am kolofelo shangwe thank you so much for clicking on this video please don't forget to like comment and also subscribe because it would really mean a lot to me and it would help me for youtube to actually recognize my content so today i'm going to be uh, talking to you guys and dealing um, with the topic called worry stress and depression so we're going to be tackling three points which i've written down and the first point is how do you see things um i'm going to be reading matthew 6 uh, verses 22 and then i will explain why do i say um this verse actually relates with um with this um point which i've titled how do we deal with things it says in Matthew 6 verse 22, The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? The reason why I actually had to read this verse is that and why I actually point out and say, how do you see things? Like this verse highlights that the eye is the one that um, is the one that leads the body to do everything that um, that is supposed to be doing. Another thing is, if you look at it in a different perspective, is that the way you see your world around you plays a huge impact in your life. So if you choose to see the world in a bad um, way, then the way you live your life, it will reflect that you're seeing things in a bad way. But if you're seeing things in a good way, then your life will also reflect that. What I'm trying to emphasize here is that whenever you're worrying, it's because of something that you have seen. You're worrying because you have seen maybe something going wrong in your life or you're worrying because you have seen the fridge is empty. Hence, I'm emphasizing the mere effect of your eyes are the ones that lead you to seeing things in a different perspective. They are the ones that make you to interpret things the way you are interpreting things. So what I can say is if you're one person, if you worry, if you stress a lot, if you're depressed, try to change the way you see things. Another verse that I'm going to read is Matthew 6 verses 25 and it says, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what will you put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? And I'm going to continue. It says here on verses 26 on Matthew 6. Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into bands, yet their heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you worry by worrying can add no cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And on this verse, we can um, hear the emphasis whereby God is saying that we should not worry about what we will eat or what we will wear. And guys, what I should say is that God has just been speaking to me about this. He's been speaking about, normally we just get ourselves stressed about the current situation you stress yourself because right now you're unemployed you stress yourself that right now you are not financially stable you stress yourself that right now your dreams are not happening you stress yourself about so many things that you're not supposed to be stressing yourself and that kind of stress and worry it brings you down and it takes away the joy from your life at that current moment and we forget the mere fact that it's just your current state your current state does not determine how your future looks like. So my advice to you guys is that stop worrying because it brings no good. Stop stressing. It brings no good. 
start seeing things in a different perspective you know like yesterday i was just not in a good mood i was just so down because i was disappointed and let me tell you something disappointment also plays a huge factor in terms of how um we see things and how we let it impact our lives i was so disappointed and i had to sit down with myself and say to myself that and ask myself i actually had a conversation with god and i asked him god why is this happening to me why are things not falling into place the way i want them to fall into place or at the specific um time that i want them to fall into place and these words came back when i i remember this sunday i was listening to transformation church and pastor michael todd um he actually spoke about being anchored and i was like to myself where am i being anchored where where am i being anchored what am i holding on to am i holding on to the things of this world and all the plans that i have for myself and all my goals or am i holding on to god's word because one thing i know for sure if you are being anchored by god's word you will not be disappointed you will not worry you will not stress because says that because god says in his word that you shall give unto thee all your burdens for he says that his burden is easy and that he will carry all our burdens so what i'm just trying to say to you guys is that stop worrying and stop stressing change the way you see things and ask yourself where are you anchored on what are you holding on are you holding on the things of this world that's actually another another point that i'm about to speak about so my second point is what words do you allow to echo in your life which is very important when you're stressed when you're depressed and when you are worrying what words do you allow to 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 echo in your life are you allowing words like you are a failure you're not going to overcome this situation you're not good enough um this situation is not going to change that's where you actually need to change that's where you need to ask yourself what words are you letting to to actually um play an impact in your life and change the way you think and have an impact on the way you see yourself so what i can say to you guys is that you must be careful of what you what you influence yourself with in terms of whatever you're reading in terms of whatever music you're listening to in terms of whatever you're watching are those things going to be playing a significant role in your life are they going to help you to become a better person are they going to give you strength when you're feeling challenged when you're feeling stressed when you feel like um um things are not going right for you are those things going to help you are they going to encourage you are they going to empower you so those are the things that you need to be focusing on keep on focusing on things that will build you up as an individual if it means that you actually get a book that will echo words that say you are um, um um let me just make an example for me one thing that really echoes good words is reading the word of god because if i'm feeling like i'm a failure but god says that i'm not a failure if i'm feeling like there's no tomorrow but god says that um i shouldn't worry and that god says that he's got plans to prosper me not to harm me it's such words that echo in my life that give me the strength that help me to worry less that help me to stress less that help me not to be depressed and then my third point is going to be shifting your focus from negative thoughts and i'm going to be reading um john 6 verses 35 and it reads as follows then jesus declared i am the bread of life whoever comes to me will never go hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty if you know that you one person and you need to shift your focus from negative thoughts look to the lord the lord is the bread of life he is the one who will fill you he is the one who will fill you with positive words he is the one who will give revival to your spirit he is the one who will change the perspective the negative perspective that you have towards the world towards the situation or towards whatever that you are going through in your current state that's what i can say to you guys and um 
another last point which actually i haven't written down but i'm just remembering when i was going through whatever that i was going through having negative thoughts and feeling down and not feeling empowered and not feeling like things are coming into place and stuff like that and having negative words echoing in my life um someone who's very close to me and who is my partner he actually said to me that i must actually sit down and ask myself why do i connect things with my emotions because as soon as you connect your goals and as soon as you connect your plans or whatever that you want to take with your emotions you giving it power to actually rule over your life because i'm just going to make an example if if let's say you have had a goal that at this specific period of time okay let me just then make an example with me i'm 30 years old right now currently and i don't have a house as yet some of the other people have a house i don't have a um, a permanent job as to say but i'm a freelancer and I have hopes and dreams. I had hoped that by this time I would be married, I'd have a house, I'd have kids, right? If I connect my emotions with those things, if I had allowed myself to connect my emotions with those things, where would I be right now? Because I'd be stressed, I'd be worried that I haven't achieved all of those things. I don't have those goals. And another thing, it also goes back to why am I connecting myself with the things of this world because in the word of god god actually says that we should not lay treasures of the things that are of this world because those things perish but we should lay treasures in heaven so those are the things that actually echo in my life those those words echo in my life and they build me up so guys do not um put your goals and connect your goals with your emotions detect your goals from your emotions but put your trust and have god be the anchor in your life if things fall into place things will fall into place do not focus on the current situation but focus on the future because the future is actually brighter than today and what i can say is that there are so many people who actually allow their emotions to keep them down because things are not falling into place and they end up having suicidal thoughts they end up not seeing tomorrow and that's just being in a dark place in your life and you don't want that for yourself what i can echo right now my last words as i'm just busy going on and on and on is that focus on the positive things and surround yourselves with people who will speak positive things in your life listen to podcasts that will motivate you that will speak good words to you read the word of god and listen to what god allow god to work in your life and another thing that i've realized is that the word of god is changing the word of god has power to transform you and the word of god can change the way you see things the way you feel about yourself and it can also help you to have confidence because the word of god tells you who you are to god because the other people who are who will tell you that you are a failure you're not good enough you're not clever you're not smart enough but the word of god doesn't say that about you the word of god says that you are loved the word of god says that i've got plans to prosper you not to harm you the word of god says that you should not worry about what you will eat or what you will wear because god will supply all your needs and the word of god also says that before you even ask to god god already knows what you need so guys thank you so much for clicking on this video i hope it has empowered you it has challenged you to change the way um you are thinking and the way you see things the way you see situations and the way you see challenges in life and i'm hoping that this year will be a great year for all of us and i'm hoping that as we enter as we have already entered we are already at the end of january that we will face um all the challenges and everything that we come across with positive thoughts and we'll be positive thank you so much guys love you please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also please share this video because there might be someone out there who actually needs to hear these words they might bring any they might bring impact and they might actually change the way they see life i love you guys bye